why should somebody who does not believe in a particular religion have the right to make decisions on behalf of that religion? Is this not unfair? Is this not against the law of justice? She's not I'm and this bill is specifically targeting a particular community, a particular religious group. Thank you, sir. It's a very sad day in Parliament today. This year, when we came back to the Parliament, many of the members took their oath with the Constitution in hand. That was to protect the Constitution, to imply that the Constitution is supreme and it has to be protected. But today, we see that this government is blatantly going against the Constitution. This bill is just not against the Constitution, it's against federalism, it's against uh, a religious minority, it is against human beings. Yes. It shuns justice in every possible way. The bill violates Article 25 and Article 20, 26 of the Constitution, which says we have the right to follow a religion and the rights of religious uh, the religion to follow and manage its own religious affairs. Yes. The bill allows non-Muslims to be a part of the work board. Like many people here have raised a question that will it be possible for a Muslim or a Christian to be part of, of the board which manages a Hindu temple? Yes. Would you allow that? No, also Sikhs. And Sikhs. Parsis, would, would you allow that? No. But then, why should somebody who does not believe in a particular religion have the right to make decisions on behalf of that religion? Is this not unfair? Is this not against the law of justice? And it is a direct violation of Article 30 of the Constitution, which with, deals with the minorities to administer their own institutions. You're bringing others. Now you're giving the right to decide whether the property belongs to the government or the work board, the collectors, and then another committee above them will be deciding whether the land or the property belongs. And we know already many old mosques are in danger today. Yes. Suddenly, there is a PIL and people are sent, archaeologists are sent there, and they discover that it was a temple before this. And then there is hate, division, issues, among the people of the country. It is happening. It is happening. I'm, and this bill is specifically targeting a particular community, a particular religious group. And it violates Article 14 of the Constitution, which says equality before law. And it is omitting Section 40 of the existing bill, which deals with the powers of the work board to decide whether a property is the work board property or not. So this bill is against the Muslims, the minorities, and it does not believe that this country is made of people. It's a secular country. It, it is made of people who have different kinds of belief, different languages, different ethnicity, and different religions. This bill will destroy 
what our forefathers dreamt India should be. I oppose this. Thank you. Rajiv Ranjan ji.